Hello everyone, welcome to SAP Administration Learning Platform. So in the today's video, we are going to learn about the HANA database license. So the points or the question those we are going to discuss. First one is when we need a license. Second is which tool we need or which tool we can use for the administration related to the license then the types of license fourth is how to request and which information required to request the HANA database license and how we can download it and the fifth and the last is general details about the HANA database license so first question is when we need a license so as we know that each and every application database software if we have to utilize its full features then we need a license so the same way license keys are required to use for the HANA database we need the keys or we can say we need the HANA database license when we install the fresh HANA database that time we need a license then when the temporary license validity expired that time we need to install the license permanent license and when the validity of the permanent license expired then again we have to install the license if we fail to install the license after the expiry of the permanent license then we will get the 28 days for the installation of the permanent license so that time we need to install the license similarly when we performed system refresh means copy data using the backup or the snapshot and restore it on the target system then that time we need to install the license so these are the few scenarios where we need to install the license so let's talk about the second point which tool we can use for the administration of the HANA database license so we can install delete the keys or the license using the HANA studio SAP HANA HDB SQL command line tool as well as by using the SQL these are the few tools those we can use for the administration of the HANA database and specifically as we are talking about the license so the next point is that type of HANA DB license or we can say the keys license keys so there are two types of license keys the first is temporary license keys and second is the permanent license key so as soon as we install the HANA database the temporary license get automatically installed on the database and it's valid for the 19 days at 19 days we can use the database without any restriction similarly in that period we can request or we can apply for the permanent license key so as I said the temporary license is a valid for the 90 days so where we can see that information so in our case we have a system DB and the tenant DB so we just have to right click on the database connection click on the properties and click on the license here we can get the information about the license so the current license key we can see here it's a temporary license it's a valid for the 90 days it also showing the start date and the expiry date where uh, when it, it will 
it going to expire similarly it shows the all license information if you if you know we click on the all license so here we will get the all the details about the license so this way we can check the information about the license whether the it's a permanent license temporary license as well as here we can get the information about the license means how many GB of the memory or we can say the license purchased for the respective database so this is about the temporary license so next is the permanent license we can request the permanent license we can request the permanent license key from the SAP service marketplace under the keys and request to request the license we need to provide the hardware key details so as I said just uh, right click on the uh, just right click on the connection and go to the property click on license here we, you will get the information about the hardware click, uh, you need to provide this hardware key details then once the license is generated then you can download the license and can apply just you have to click on the install browse that license and just open and apply and the close so that way you can apply the license so in the permanent license there are two types of license available license key is available that is so the first one is enforced and the second one is unenforced so what is the meaning of the enforced so basically when we purchase the license so that time as I said we purchase the license as per the size of the RAM so if for example if I purchase the license of the 125 GB and if the memory utilization crossed the 125 GB then the database will get locked once the system is locked we can't perform any actions on the database so that way it's difficult to perform the execution or any activity on the database so the second license type permanent license type that is the unenforced so if unenforced license key is installed the operation of the HANA database has not affected its memory consumption even if it is exceed the license amount of the memory so as I said if I purchased the license of memory of 125 GB and if the consumption exceed the 125 GB and if I installed the unenforced license key on the database at that time the database won't get locked so that is the basic difference between the unenforced and enforced so if the enforced is so if enforced license key is installed then database will get locked when the current consumption of the HANA exceed the license amount of memory so this is about the type of the license so the next point that is the how to request and download the HDB license so as I said we can download the permanent license from the SAP service marketplace and it's under the key and request so there we need to provide the hardware key as I said and even I told where we can find out that hardware, hardware key so from there we can download the permanent license and can apply it on the HANA database so the one thing uh, I missed that is the we install the permanent license on the HANA database and if the permanent license key are valid until the predefined expiry date and if you know that date is expired and if we fail to install the new license then temporary license key 
will get applied on the HANA database automatically get installed on the HANA database automatically and it will be valid for the 28 days so this is all about the SAP HANA license key if we have to find the information about the license key we can run the simple statement as the select star from the view name is m underscore license as I, as I you know taught in the last video how we can find out the name of the tables so just simply type m underscore l and press enter and press enter and then get the table in front of the screen so m underscore licenses so if I execute it here we can get the hardware key system ID all the information related to the license so this way we can this way we can find the information about the license here just I want to add one note that when we set up the secondary database uh, that time we need not have to install the license on the secondary system only we need the valid license must be installed on the primary system so license information will be replicated to the secondary automatically so this is just for the knowledge and if you want more details or I can say if you want this if you want this uh, I can say I can say if you want these details you can refer my blog that is the rupesh as chowan dot blogspot dot com here so to get the more details or to get the information about the other topics of the HANA database you can refer my blog uh, I will put the URL in the description you can use this you can use this URL to get the more information uh, I already added uh, nearly 100 more than 100 blocks related to SAP technology means SAP administration or you we can say the related to the SAP basis administration for the HANA database license and types for the same topic I already added the blog you can refer this blog for your knowledge so finally I want to say thanks for subscribe so uh, so I want to thanks the subscriber because we crossed the 500 subscriber count and those who yet not subscribe please subscribe to the channel and support me so I can make the more and more videos helpful videos and can share the knowledge with you guys so if you like the videos please subscribe to the channel and share with your friend click on the bell icon to get the notification about the upcoming videos so take care bye bye